Hey guys, I'm Aaron and it's fall. So I want to model something autumn-y. We're going to model some leaves. Now I can think of a couple ways with native tools to make some passable leaf geometry or leaf-like geometry, but we're going to lean into a couple of extensions to do this. Specifically, we're going to use true bend and random tools. And we're going to make just a blanket of leaves that we could drop on the ground somewhere. Let's do it. All right, so I imported a picture of a leaf. This is some sort of maple leaf. I don't know, I'm not a tree guy, I'll be honest. Um, and I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go crazy with this, you know, mapping or copying geometry exactly, but I wanna get this look and feel of something like this. So I'm gonna start, I don't wanna draw the whole thing. I only wanna draw half of it because I'm a lazy, I mean, intentional modeler. So I'm just gonna kind of, in here and click around and get at this point kind of like the, the broad strokes of the geometry so I'm not worried about you know curves or anything at this point but something like that there we go and then finish off that stem as well um, so I'll be honest right now Depending on the scale this leaf is going to end up at, that might be enough geometry. If this, you know, it's going to be a little teeny tiny piece next to Teddy's foot here, I don't need to go a whole lot more geometry in this. But I'm going to. I'm going to add some more geometry with arcs. I'm going to come in here and just use arc a bunch of times to just kind of, you know, just give me, kind of match some of this geometry here. So right there like that. And then we'll go we'll pull this back like that maybe. And then we'll take that and... Oops, missed my point. So just, again, not, not necessarily trying to make a perfect representation of this, but just something that kind of, you know, you look at it and you're like, ah, yeah, that right there is a maple leaf. That's what I'm looking for. Recognizability over, you know, realism, I guess. Not, not looking for realism. I'm not, I'm not, not, uh, I'm not set to make realism happen. All right, so I'm gonna just throw a couple more little arcs down here, and then maybe one right here. There we go. And then we'll erase our extra, our superfluous ge geometry. I bet you didn't know you're gonna hear a big word like superfluous. I probably used it incorrectly. All right, so then I got that geometry. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna mirror it. We're gonna go Option mirror right over the middle, get rid of that extra edge. There we go. And I'm going to double click and make that into a group. All right, we don't need our picture anymore now, so I'm going to delete that. And there is our maple leaf. And it's in a group. And what I'm going to do is first thing, right before I do anything else, I'm going to go over to tools and I'm gonna bring up True Bend. This is an extension, a uh, free extension available on the warehouse from TomTom. Tom. And I'm going to bring it, give it a little bit of a curve like that. That looks good. I'm going to hit enter. Gives me a little bit of a curve. And again, that could be good, but I want to go a little bit further. I want to have it curve the other direction as well. So I'm going to use the move command to rotate this. Now, if I go up to tools right now and I hit true bend, look what happens. I'm bending in the same axis because what true bend does is it looks and it aligns, it bends along the red axis. So I didn't change the axis when I did that. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit escape and then I'm going to right click. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to select, I'm going to right click, explode this group, and then immediately right click and make it a group again. So by doing that, I just reset it to the world axis. So the red axis is right here in the front. So now if I go to tools and I go to true bend again, and I pull this out here, it's going to bend this way too. Enter. There we go. Now I got a nice concave leaf, which is, you know, pretty much what I'm used to seeing when I look at a leaf. Awesome. So that's, so again, I didn't go and do a bunch of detail. I don't have the spine or the, you know, different pieces of the leaf or I don't know if that's called a spine, the middle part, you know, the sticky part, the part that bumps up. I don't have that in there, but I do have enough here that if I shrink this down, there's going to be no question. This is a leaf on the ground, but the color's a little off. So I'm going to bring up my paint bucket. I'm going to give the front a nice dark red, and then we'll come in here and give the back like a brownish color. Yeah, that's nice. Get a little bit of variety. 
And uh, like I said, we're gonna do just a, a just a bunch of leaves. We're gonna we're gonna make a whole bunch of these laying on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down flat. And it's big, right? This is this would be a big leaf, or maybe Teddy's very small. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and shrink this way down. That looks good. That looks like about the right size. I mean, I know maple leaves come in different sizes, and uh, sometimes they get pretty big, but this will work for now. Now I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna copy right here, and I'm just gonna say like. 19x, I give me a total of 20, and I'll grab those 20 and I'll move them option this way. 19x, there we go. Now I got 20 by 20 uh, grid of leaves. What I'm gonna do now is grab all of them and I'm gonna use random tools over here. So with random tools, I have the ability to click this button right here, which is randomize objects. I can say, how much do I wanna rotate? I wanna rotate them anywhere 360 degrees. Um, how do I want to position, position variance, how much, and then how much do I want to scale? So, uh, I'm gonna leave with the default values, mix three variation by one, and then scale vector up or down a half and say, okay. And look what happens. Take just a second. Ooh, there we go. So you see, now we got random leaves and it looks good, but you can still definitely see the grid. So I probably could have maybe moved more, but I'm gonna, I got, I got a trick. I'm gonna grab all of those. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna rotate a copy of them like 45-ish degrees. And there we go. And now, look at that. Looks like a nice, nice bed of leaves. Somebody couldn't look at that and say, that's not fall. Well, you could, but you would be, you'd be lying to yourself and to me if you said that. There you go. Don't you love walking through leaves and do a little ASMR here, ready? Crunching on leaves. So anyhow, there we go. There is a bed, a full bed of quick and easy leaves using just a couple of extensions. That's True Bend and Random Tools, both of which are available for free on Extension Warehouse. I like fall. I like autumn. This was fun. I had, I had, I experienced different like physical reactions. I was hearing leaves crunching. I was smelling, uh, that musty odor of leaves. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, this is cool in a fun, quick and easy way. Like I said, it doesn't have to, you don't have to go download leaves. You don't have to do photo textures. It's pretty easy to get a decent set of leaves using just a couple extensions. So check them out. Let me know what you think. Uh, and if you like this video, click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, like I said, leave us a comment down below. What's your favorite time of year? Is it autumn? Is it now? Do you have a different way for modeling leaves? Is there something specific you think we should model? Let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.